Oh, shit. oh shit. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I can't remember where I left off in the last video, but let's just say that I had got a lot switched over to the new motor. I've actually done uh, quite a few things to it. I'll show you guys that stuff in a bit. The old motor is pretty much stripped down. Like I've already, okay, I've taken off like 95% of what I need from the old one and swap it over to the new one. That motor is pretty much done. I'm still gonna keep it just in case I need any other spare parts, yeah. Uh, I'm almost done with the engine swap. I'm like 90% done, I'm almost there. I gotta catch you guys up on all the stuff that I need and the stuff that I've already done. So I'll catch you guys up on that in a bit. But before we get started with today's video, go ahead, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. All right, so before I show you guys the motor that's going in the Z, let me show you guys the old motor, all reliable. <laughs> It's all like back here by the trash cans and everything. It's just, uh, it looks like a complete mess right now. As you guys can see, manifold is gone. The plenum, all that stuff's gone. And these valve covers are actually off of the new motor. I actually swapped over mine because the ones that I have on there are pretty much almost new. I've installed those like two years ago and I bought them brand new from Z1. When I went to change out the spark plugs, dog, there was so much oil on them. I had some saved over here, but I think I pretty much threw them all away. I would have showed you guys, but there was oil all over the spark plug on all six of them. So I knew that this valve cover was absolute trash and it needed to be changed. I also took off most of the pulleys on here because they look better for some reason than the other one. The other one was really rusty. These were in pretty decent shape, so I just, took all those out and put them on the new motor uh but other than that i think this motor is gonna be stored up somewhere like i said i'm keeping it just in case i need any other spare parts now let me show you guys the motor that is going in the z i actually painted the plenum the other day i actually hate painting i don't have the patience for it every time i paint i always screw up something for some reason somehow some way i always mess up and i just I just could never do it. But for some reason, I was like, all right, let me go ahead and try it again. Let's take my time, make sure everything is right. Preparation is always key. So I took my time to prepare it and paint it. And let me show you guys real quick. It's right under this blue cover. I had to put a shirt over it just so it could be protected from the um, strap right here. But let me get you guys a little sneak peek. I'm not sure how well you guys can see it on camera, but there is the new color for the plenum i'm not sure if you guys can see on camera but it does have like sparkle you can kind of see it look it does have a little bit of sparkle and it looks really nice it came out really well surprisingly i don't know how it came out so good maybe because i just did it really rush it like i always do but the paint that i used was actually really nice and the nozzle was pretty straight and it came out really good at first, I didn't want to do silver. I kind of wanted to do black. I kind of looked on pictures on Google on like how the black plenum looks in the engine bay. It looks all right, you know, it looks clean, but I didn't just want to go with black. The car is already black. The engine bay like is already black and stuff like that. So I wanted to add a little like pop in the engine bay. I honestly think this color is perfect. It's not like silver, it's more like a gray. It also does kind of match with the tandems. It's like a gunmetal gray in a kind of way but dog i cannot wait to get that in ninja bay <laughs> it looks so sick i honestly think i might do that color on my brake calipers because they look kind of kind of busted up right now and it look a little bit rusty so once i paint those i think it'll add a little bit more pop down here as well now that we're focusing on the new motor let me give you guys a rundown on what i did i don't know if you guys have noticed already but i did add a z1 plenum spacer um, I installed the Z1 coil packs from the old motor, new valve cover with new valve cover gaskets, Z1 clutch as well with a light flywheel. I added my Z1 hoses as well. I picked this one up uh, last week from Z1, uh, but most of these hoses I had on the old motor. So I just like kind of threw it on this one. Once I had everything taken apart, I cleaned the inside of the plenum, the top and the bottom one. I scrubbed it down really good, made sure there was like no gunk or nothing like that. Surprisingly, not surprisingly, I mean, I would hope so. When I opened up the, uh, the valve cover, the inside of the cams and all that stuff, it looked really good and really clean. So that was a good sign. That was like a big relief for me because obviously when you guys seen 
the outside of the motor it did not look the best it looked kind of it, it just didn't look the best and i honestly am proud of myself for making it look the way it looks now um i feel like i did a really good job at cleaning it up i'm telling you this piece was only like 40 bucks off z1 and let me tell you guys it does add a lot of uh pop i guess or like a lot more characters to the engine bay if you guys have a vq or a de in specific you guys know that these oil caps are really annoying to take off i'm gonna screw this one on real quick for you guys hold on hold on not finished yet hold on <laughs> uh gotta throw that on as well damn <laughs> it might just be like a small thing to you guys but it's the small things like this that really like add that extra pop i'm telling you guys the silver with the chrome combo looks really sick i'm just ready to take this thing off and put it in the engine already today's objective is to switch out this clutch line um i have another i have a couple other parts that i have to swap out that are on here that i can do today i have new gaskets for the cats and i guess i can swap over the engine harness oh and also i just realized that i did swap over my injectors and my fuel rail from my old motor to the new one only because this wiring right here looks really sketch i don't know if like a rat <laughs> chewed it up or something but yeah this thing is basura and uh threw that away but real quick let me show you guys what i upgraded uh if you guys are changing out your motor on your de specifically the o3 model it is a good idea to replace your fork that goes into the transmission like that and it controls your throttle bearing for some reason nissan decided to like make this fork and it's like very hollow on the inside there's like no beef there's no there's nothing and it's very light very flimsy so i went on z1 and i actually bought an upgraded fork and this one is a lot beefier and a lot heavier than the oem fork for the o3 uh this one is solid it won't bend out on you i heard that it makes the pedal feel a lot better and plus also if you're upgrading your clutch these tend to bend out once you upgrade to like a more aggressive clutch so this one it's basura and yeah everything back here is all plugged up got the uh, cam sensors all plugged up coal packs all plugged up everything that i could plug up today i pretty much did and uh i think by thursday thursday is the day that's the plan to throw in the motor everything on top looks so good but i really hate the way this looks i was trying to clean it up whenever i had all the stuff taken off but it was just too hard i even scrubbed it with a lot of stuff and it just would not come off but from right here it looks pretty straight looks pretty good to me <laughs> All right guys, some time has passed. Actually not even time, it's been a couple days. And I know I said I was trying to throw in the motor on Thursday, but we had got some pretty bad weather. It was pretty cold and pretty rainy, so I wasn't able to do it by Thursday. But today's Sunday and I pretty much have everything ready to throw in the motor. Let me give you guys a quick rundown on what I did so far. All right, so like I showed you guys before, I have the new Z1 fork. Put in these new gaskets right here. Got two of those. I have the trans on the jack, the clutch line, like I said. Yeah, all thing I need to do is take off this cover, have some help to throw in the motor because I cannot do that all by myself, bro. This is like a steep hill. And if it rolls out of control and I don't have a good grip on it, bro, RIP to the Z for real. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, man, we're ready to throw in the motor. Let me uh, suit you guys up real quick and let's get this thing in. So that clip you guys just seen putting the motor in yesterday did not go as planned dog like we ran into some issues where the cats weren't aligning correctly so these right here are the ones that came off of the jdm motor and these are the ones that came off my usdm motor right basically the jdm ones are shorter than the us ones right so it wasn't aligning correctly where it should have gone the headers basically 
were too short in and the cats on my car were too far out. I had my neighbor help me out, yank the motor back out again. <laughs> We had to take it out again and I swapped my headers. I went ahead and swapped in the oil sensor, the O2 sensors. Basically when you swap the headers in, just plug in your O2 sensors, you'll be straight. But yeah, like I said, these are a little bit longer. So I had to swap my old headers from the old motor onto this one. I have the OEM Nissan filter. I have my original oil pressure sensor, all that stuff. It is ready to be thrown in now, but my neighbor dipped out. So <laughs> I gotta wait for him to come back and uh, we should be good to go. But my neighbor should be back anytime soon now. Uh, once he gets back, it's going in. We're gonna go ahead and throw this thing in, try to get everything plugged up and uh, see you guys when that time comes. Just like that, guys. Finally got this thing in. God. Thank you. It went in so smoothly. Everything went in its place. Nothing broke. Everything is going really well so far. I did not think I would get this far in these past just like Dave. I got this thing done. Transmission harness is all wired up. Power steering pump is all in. I have the AC compressor in. The belts are in. Engine wiring harness is all plugged up. Let me show you guys what else I have to do before I actually have the opportunity to start it. It's actually looking, well, not really, but it's looking more complete than what I've been looking at the past, like, couple, like, three weeks. Look how good that plenum looks. And that Tomei oil cap with the Z1 plenum spacer. That looks sick. I believe I have to put on the uh, core support, bolt that up. That's going to be kind of a headache because the bolts are, like, all hidden underneath and whatnot i have to put that on hopefully all that goes on pretty well i have to put on the latch for the hood and obviously put on the battery i have to hook up the ecu and put the intake back on and other than that we might be able to start it today hopefully i'm able to uh i'm really looking forward to it i miss how this car sounds I miss how it drives i can't wait to test out the new clutch i got the clutch release fork that i showed you guys the really beefy one i know i'm gonna have to do a throttle body relearn because i did unplug the throttle body but other than that everything is looking really good so far all right guys let me go ahead and get everything buttoned up i really want to hurry up get whatever i can on as fast as possible because the sun will go down soon i have about like two hours two and a half hours so let me go ahead do what i can i'll pick up the camera once i have to put in the oil and uh i see you guys in And just like that, guys, everything is pretty much all buttoned up. I got the intake on. I have the battery on. ECU is hooked up. I already went inside and turned the key, but not to start it. I turned it to see if the fuel pump will prime and it primed. Everything seems to be good. Right here, I have my oil and my coolant. I've actually never tried this brand before. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I decided to try it. Oh, shoot. But yeah, guys, I got cats and everything connected. New spark plugs. I just have a whole lot of new stuff. The new clutch, I can't wait to try that. I actually haven't even like stepped on it yet the clutch pedal because i'm kind of scared i feel like it's gonna be a little heavy because of that new clutch fork that i got but it shouldn't be too too much of a difference looking at it now it's so crazy because i was so used to seeing it with nothing and now it has something it actually looks like a car now <laughs> it looks a lot better now everything looks good uh let's go ahead and top it off with some oil put in some coolant and then uh we'll go ahead and give it its first start after the swap the cool thing about this oil is that you don't even need a funnel you can literally just pour it in straight in there like that but let's go ahead and pour it in there real quick oh yep messed up a little bit sorry i cleaned it up guys i'm so nervous i ain't gonna <laughs> uh i just hope everything goes good I'm pretty sure it will, but yeah, let me go ahead and fill all this up, get the coolant all situated, and then uh, we'll go for the first start. Alright guys, it's time to finally start my JDM Swap Z. Actually, if it does run a little rough, I'll try to do the throttle body relearn, but honestly, I think I should just go ahead and start it. Now, let me go ahead and take this off. Oh guys, I am so nervous, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I barely have any gas. Let me switch the map. Let me do one, two, three. Alright guys, holy shit. I hope my clutch pedal... Well, that was a fail. As soon as I put my foot on the clutch, it went straight all the way to the firewall. And it's probably because I don't have any 
brake fluid. I think when I switched out the clutch line, it leaked out so much that I don't have any more. So <laughs> I gotta run to the store, get some more, and uh, we'll be back. All right, guys, I guess now is the moment of truth. I just finished bleeding the clutch. I got all the air pockets out. That's why when I press on the clutch, it just stuck to the ground. Uh, that's fixed. I'm gonna start the car. Hopefully everything is good. I'm gonna let it get the temperature, and then I'm gonna do the throttle body relearn, and then have to also bleed the coolant as well. But... <laughs> It's time, guys. It is time. God, I'm so scared. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> God, I hope everything goes good. All right, guys. Here it is. Let's go. Field pump primed. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's check for leaks. Oh, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Guys, I'm literally shaking right now. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The belt is squeaking a little bit. Let me see if I'm checking for leaks right now. Dog, I'm so scared. I am so scared right now. All right, that thing is finally tightened. Let's go for the second start. Wow. You guys see that thing right there? If that's what's causing the noise, I gotta fix that. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. So that thing that's shaking down there is an easy fix, but it is smoking. My guess is that I did spray some WD-40 on the O2 sensors. So maybe the oil still stuck over there where the O2 is. I did wipe it down a little bit just now. It might still smoke, but I don't think anything is leaking. I think it should be fine. Let me go start it one more time. I cannot believe what I did, dog. This is crazy. Dog, it sounds so good. It'll probably keep smoking a little bit, but I think it's fine. That thing though is annoying. Yeah, I gotta fix that. I checked everything. It's not, nothing's leaking. So I think I'm gonna just let it like burn off and then we'll go from there. But so far, everything else is pretty good. Motor sounds good. Motor sounds really good. So we get that Tomei action real quick. I haven't heard that tell me forever. That sounds so sick. This is crazy. 